how to be different. I don't know, you tell me. Hey you guys, it's Felicia here from Valuable Referral with all we do on this channel is refer value to the entrepreneur and help them win. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to be different. Now, especially for my network marketers out there, um, and as well as affiliate marketers, because guess what? Network marketers, all they are really in truth is affiliate marketers. So just imagine yourself um, in a network marketing, like a company like Amway. Now Amway is huge and it's been around for since the seventies, I believe. Um, and just imagine all those network marketers that you have to, in a sense, compete with quote unquote. So you think, um, and you're wondering how in the world am I going to compete with so many people and try to get myself to walk across the stage and hold the big golf, you know, golf checks. I call them golf checks because normally those type of big checks I see are people that, um, play golf. That's how I normally categorize it. But how do I be that? How do I get to that that level of uniqueness and to stand out as that leader of my network marketing uh, company and to be acknowledged and you know people want to know what what it is that I do and I can actually teach what it is that I I know that helps me be different. There's only one thing that makes you different that can make you different permanently and actually. In a nonchalant way of saying it, you're actually doing it. It's actually being different because you're being you. You know, there is no, there is no magic to this to this thing. Meaning, um, I have another video called "The Power of Free," and when I say there's no magic to this thing, because let's take the niche of motivational speakers. Now, there's a bunch of them. You know, um, and actually. Social media bought out so many other motivational speakers. Like, you know, the, you know, well, Tony Robbins was before the whole social media world. But let's say people like uh, Eric Thomas or um, Jeremy Anderson, uh, Lisa Nichols, people like that, who um, I think Lisa was also before social media. But what I'm trying to say is it's never actually been what they said. You know, even though what they're saying, a lot of stuff that they're saying is very, very true. It's very powerful, and they have your they have an audience. But the reason why they have an audience because of their own uniqueness. Guys, we're like snowflakes. You know, the human being is like a snowflake. No two are the same. Uh, we have different fingerprints. You know, um, even if we have a twin, there's a difference in the fingerprints. If somebody, one of us, got in trouble and they wanted to see if I did the crime versus you did, doing the crime. And what I'm trying to say is your uniqueness is what's going to stand out when it comes to how to be different in the online game. So even though you might be selling the same thing, how you actually produce it, how you promote it, uh, how you actually teach it is going to be different. And there's nothing wrong with that because what's going to attract my audience to me might be different from what's going to attract your audience to you. So let's say they might, your audience might not particularly care for me, maybe because how I speak, maybe because how I look, it's all different types of reasons, maybe because of how I say certain things and how I bring forth content. And they might love you because they might find you funny, you might be more witty, whatever it is that doesn't separate um, you as being have to be like me or me having to be like you. So to be different is really just to be you. So to my network marketing folks, um, a lot of times, and I go, I go into detail in different videos about the, the whole product versus offer thing, but you're not in competition with everybody else. And that's what you have to understand. I know there's people walking on that stage holding $100,000 checks, $50,000 checks, and so on, but you are only in competition with you. And once you understand that and understand the concept of actually being in competition with yourself and knowing that the real person that's going to hold you back is you. You'll know that you are already unique. You're already different. Now, there are some things that you might need want to change and improve on. I get that. But the, the essence of who you are and how you will stand out um, and how you will make your online business work is basically being yourself and just being a better version of you every single day. And when I made the example about the motivational speaking, what I'm trying to basically come across is it's it's. It's not a it's not a niche that's going to go down 
um, that's saturated, so to speak. There are no really no niches that's saturated. You know, it might be more people in it, but it just shows how many people can dwell in the same place and all thrive. For instance, um, Richard Simmons, which was a famous uh, health guru at the time in the 80s. He ruled the 80s. Then came along Ty Bo. Before Richard Simmons and um, Ty Bo, you had people like Jacqueline Lang, which is before my time. You know, you had Jane Fonda. They all were in the same niche. And when you understand that you are different because of who you are and how you were made, you understand that they're in the same type of, that their audience is really the same type of audience. You know what I mean? You know, as far as the health thing, they're different just based on them. Ty Bo was a martial arts guy, but he he's a health guy. You get what I'm saying? Richard Simmons, you know, he's a health guy and how he did his health thing. Jack LaLanne, uh, Jane Fonda, uh, P90X guy, you know what I mean? The beach body person. I, I don't even know the names really, but you get what I'm saying? They didn't have to conform to each other. They didn't have to be, you know, Ty Bo didn't say, okay, let me put on the the, 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 the tight shirt and, the, you know, the, the tank top and have the headband and let me try to be like Richard Simmons. It wouldn't work for him. He had to do what was in him and what was in him and what he loved to do was martial arts. And he incorporated that with saying, listen, I do martial arts. I'm a fighter and I, I'm also with health and I'm with burning calories and getting in shape and being your best, you know, your best self. So what I'm just trying to say is you're different because of who you are and you're born that way. You can be a better version of you, but don't you think for a second that because you want to do, you know, um, network marketing, or you want to be affiliate marketing, or you want to make your own courses that you have to actually imitate in exact form somebody else. Jim Rohn, you know, Tony Robbins didn't have to mimic Jim Rohn. He might have, you know, they might be saying the same thing, but Tony Robbins' audience is personally for Tony Robbins because of how he brings forth his essence, his being. And that's really all I want to say about that. And I hope you got some value out that, out of that content. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can be in the know, on the know. You know why? Because you're worth it. See you guys in the next video.